At the end of 2021, Huawei released a two-in-one Windows tablet in China called the MateBook E. This budget Windows tablet takes all the right boxes for many, but also have a couple of deal-breaking features. I was immediately attracted by its size and fit and finish. It feels so premium, albeit a fingerprint magnet. The 12.6-inch OLED display is gorgeous, and a 90% screen-to-body ratio made it a lot more compact than the 13-inch Surface Pro 8 with thick bezels. The quad speakers are fantastic, almost as good as the M1 MacBook Pro with good surround sound. It's only lacking a bit of bass if I have to be pedantic. It comes with a keyboard cover as standard, which also likes to attract dirt and scratch marks. Typing experience is pretty enjoyable. Key travel is very good, with great tactile feedback. This keyboard cover could also be used to access Huawei phones effortlessly, without signing in or being in the same network. It's a lot more intuitive to use and powerful than Microsoft's Your Phone app because you could edit your documents inside your phone using the PC version of the app. No cloud services are ever required. Lastly, the price. It only starts just under 6,000 Chinese Yuan, which is a lot cheaper than the Service Pro 8, and that doesn't even come with a keyboard as standard. Of course, with a price tag this attractive, it comes with a number of drawbacks. Firstly is the CPU, which is not EVO certified, so it is not as efficient as other flagship Ultrabooks. Even light office and web surfing would cause the fan spinning so much as if it wants to take off. Because of this, battery endurance is not great, and I could only get 3 hours of continuous work out of it. Ergonomics also took an impact. The tablet itself has no stand, meaning you would have to take the keyboard cover with you wherever you want to place it upright. Then the keyboard is fixed with just one position, and the cover itself is ergonomically challenging to operate. And it is impossible to support sketches at low angles. Last but not least, it's the lack of ports. There is only one USB-C port, which is also used for charging. So you would need to buy a dongle separately to plug in different peripherals. To solve these issues, Huawei did announce what they called a Glide keyboard. A lit keyboard cover that opens up ergonomically, as well as featuring an additional USB-C port. It was promised to be available for separate purchase at 999 yuan. However, it was nowhere to be sold at launch. They even deleted the item at their own online marketplace in China. Upon completion of this video, only a few were offered as a special bundle to those who purchased the limited i7 model, and they were all snatched up within days. This really disappointed people like me who originally bought this PC looking forward to buy this accessory separately. Having broken their promise in China, the Glide keyboard was removed for the global market. It never appeared in global launch and never showed up on any advertisement outside China. At the end of the day, the Huawei MateBook E is a quality-made compact 2-in-1 Windows tablet that comes with a very good keyboard as standard. Despite all the mentioned problems, it is still an amazing budget alternative to the Service Pro 8.